Hey hyphen, it's Nicole. Tonight starts the first of our four devotionals for the month of April. Tonight, I wanna to talk to you guys about managing our time to help us avoid anxiety during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's important to know that God wants us to make time for him no matter what's going on in our life, the good and the bad. He doesn't want us to focus too much of our time on things that are not in our control. I wanna to talk to you guys about ways to avoid anxiety um, and also to remind you that it's important to remain faithful to the kingdom of God, especially with everything going on right now. Making time for God and making it a priority. It's so easy right now to pull out our phones, scrolling, sharing funny memes, <laughs> watching every pre press conference that shows up on the news. Um, and I know that because I've been doing it. We can complain so much on social media, um, but none of those things are really involving God or helping the situation. Our mission needs to be for the kingdom of God. We need to be reaching souls and reaching out to people, praying for them and being there for them. We're put on this earth to serve God first, and we need to remember that when we're complaining or when we're worried. God, of course, wants us to have fun and enjoy our lives, but during th everything that's going on right now, we really need to focus on what God wants and not what we want. In Ephesians 5, 15 through 17, it says, Be very careful then how you live, not as in wise making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. This is so important. We need to know that God's will is not, you know, going to destroy us or be bad for us. These, God's will for us is to reach those who are in need and be there for those who are in need. God's will is to help us reach those who are lost and don't know truth. And right now is a really perfect time to be doing that. Another important thing I want to talk about to, to help us avoid, avoid the anxiety that we may be building up is to make a schedule. I've been working on this myself, especially now that my husband and I are working from home. I want things to run smoothly in our home especially because everything is so hectic and uncertain. We have EJ home with us, we're trying to work. So some things I've been doing is definitely trusting in God's timing. I prepare for each new day. I kind of think about what I want to eat, what I know I have to do for work, what I'm going to do with EJ. Um, we've been trying new things as a family and definitely praying more and worshiping together as a family, especially when we have to watch the services online or on the, I guess, online. <laughs> Um, a schedule for each day, whether you are quarantined or not, will help make time for God. And especially if you've been struggling with this, I know that I've talked to so many people who have said, I've just been sitting in my room and I don't really know what to do with myself. I'm bored. I want to do something, but I can't. I want to hang out with my friends, but I can't. This is prime time to really be just building that relationship with God. If you're feeling like you're a little disconnected, now is the perfect time to get connected. Another thing I want to talk about is avoiding avoiding comparing situations, complaining, and planting fear publicly. I know this is hard, but um, you need to find somebody that you can trust or rely on that you can kind of just talk about your concerns with. If you're worried about something or scared, reach out to somebody, have an accountability partner. It's so much better than sharing it online or sharing it with everybody that you know that you're so scared, you're so worried, or oh, we're all gonna die. And honestly, that doesn't help the situation. Um, and I just think it's better if we kind of have that one person that we can talk to about our fears and the things that we're worried about. We are called to do the work um, and that includes being a person to rely on and be there to pray for one another in times of need. When Moses calls Joshua to inform him that he would be taking over him, taking over for him, in Deuteronomy 31.8, it states, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. I know this is a really hard time for everyone right now. Please know that making time for God and yourself is so important. Don't let everything going on right now consume you or let the anxieties of this world make a home within you. Trust in the Holy Spirit to guide you. Lean on Him and know that He is protecting you and living within you. Speak truth and joy, especially when people need to hear about the love of God most. We love you guys and we're really looking forward to the day that we can all join together and have coffee and donuts again. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'd love to pray with you. Have a great night, guys.